So, welcome students. We are going to take a topic called matrices. Matrices means plural. Matrix means singular. Matrices is plural. A matrix is nothing but array. Array means arrangement. Arrangement. They generally say as the word array of elements. See, each one is called an element. This is called an element. This is called an element. Array of elements consisting of rows and columns and written in the form or order generally m into n matrix. This is called m rows and n columns. Consisting of m rows and n columns. Generally rows should come first. Rows are nothing but horizontal elements are called rows. Look here. This is called row 1. This is an horizontal element. Horizontal means line position. See, all what you get here. Row 1. This is called row 1. Okay. Next one is called actually what? Row 2. Okay, you can turn on row 2. Horizontal elements are called rows. See, look here. 2, 2, 2, 2. The third one is called the third row. See, look here. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 rows. And the fourth one is called the fourth row. We put dot, dot, dot. Fifth one is called fifth row, sixth row, seventh row. And generally, the last one they call with the m row. M, 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 m. So this is called row m. So matrix is of order m rows. Vertical lines are columns. Vertical means standing position. I'm standing vertical, upright. So this is called actually what? First column. It's called first column. It's called first column. It's called first column. Okay, so columns I put into first column, first column, first column, first column. So this is called column one. This is called column two. Look here, column two, column two, column two, column two. This is called column two. Next one is called column three. Column three, column three, column three, column three. The fourth one is called column four. We have put dots. Fifth one is called column five, column six, column seven. Like that. The last one is called column n. So this is called column n. So the matrix is written as m rows and n column. It's called order of a matrix. So this is a general form of a matrix. And these are called elements. And the total number of elements is total number of elements is m into n equal to mn. So what you have written is a general form. If you do a particular matrix, that's why we are doing a sum. It's called what matrix? If you do a particular matrix from a general matrix having a condition, we can understand why. Two sums are given. If you do the sums, we know what is meant by horizontal elements. Elements, not i, e. Elements. Okay are called rows and columns. So this is the main one. Now we will do two sums. This is the general form of a matrix. Now the first sum, you would write 4 into 3 matrix. 4 rows and 3 columns. This is the general one. So this is called row 1. I said horizontal elements are row 1. And this is called row 2. And this is called row 3 and this is called row 4. This is called column 1, column 2 and column 3. So this is called a 4 into 3 matrix and remember matrix you can write in 3 ways a bracket like this square bracket or an ordinary bracket. This is old method. Old method now not written. They write like this also but these two methods are followed now. So there are 4 rows and 3 columns. So this is called first row and first column. This is called by the word first row and first column. They call it as I and J. So this is called I and J. See, look here. First row and first column. The condition is I plus J the whole square. So 1 plus 1 the whole square. This is called I plus J the whole square. 1 plus 1 is 2 square is 4. 
This is called first row and second column. The first stands for row and second column stands for second one stands for column. So this element, this is called I and J. This is called first row, first column, first row, third column, I and J. Each element you can name like this. So one plus two, three is nine. This is one plus three. This is called I and this is called this is first row or third column I and J. Okay, one plus three is sixteen. Two plus one three is nine. Two plus two four is sixteen. Fifteen, sixteen, thirty, fifteen. So each one, so instead of A one one, you can write this four. Like that, four plus one five is thirty six and forty seven. So this A is written like this. This is from a general matrix. We are converting to a particular matrix with a given condition where. I stands for the row of the element, and J stands for the column of the element. These are called elements. These are called elements. And this is the second row and third co second column. This is fourth row and third column. See, this is row four and column three. Each element you can identify. So the first sum condition is I plus the whole square. We'll do the second sum. Now next sum, we are converting a general 286 matrix in a particular matrix with this condition modulus of 2i minus 3j. Look here, modulus of minus 2 is actually plus 2. Modulus of minus 3 is plus 3. Modulus of where only 2 is also plus 2. Okay. Modulus of only 3 is also plus 3. Modulus means positive value. So this model is we can go through it. Now this is six, two into six, so two rows and six columns. This is called row one. This is called row two. This is called column one, column two, column three, column four, column five, column six. So this is called the two into six matrix. Two rows and six columns. Now a one one is each. Element first row first column, row one column one. If you take this first row third column, if you take this second row fourth column, these are called elements. So this is called I and this is called J. The first one is called I and J. So two I minus three J is a condition. Two into this is called I. This is called J. Two one so two minus three. This minus one is taken with plus value. This is called I and this is called J. A one two. This is called your I. And this is called J. Here also, if you want to put I and J, this is called I and J, I and J, I and J. So this is called I. This is called I. This is called J, I and J, I and J. So two one so two minus nine minus seven. Modulus means you must put the plus five. Like the same thing, if you get it, simply simple numbers only, you can get it, and you can write the final answer for A one one. You have to put one. This is A one one. It's called A one one, A one two, A one three, A one four like that. You have to put A one five, A one six like that, A two one like that, and this is the final answer. This simple method. This is a general matrix converted to a particular matrix based on a condition. This is very important.